Hi everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. And I just have to, first of all, thank all of you guys because we hit 500 subscribers. And that's something that I didn't even know if I would ever do. So thank you guys so much. Literally means the world. I'm just gonna get ready with you guys. Um, it's very chatty, so I hope you guys enjoy. All right, let's get started. Happy Thursday, everybody. I am just drinking the last of my matcha. And let's get ready. So I already did my serums, but I am just putting on some of my Bioma moisturizer. How are you guys? I want to say thank you to all my subscribers and all my new subscribers because the most exciting thing happened. I hit 500 subscribers. I am over the moon and so excited. And I'm still a little bit in shock, but I'm just so excited to keep creating content. So yeah, thank you guys so much, everybody who has subscribed. I love and appreciate you all. Now I'm gonna take some concealer. And I'm going to buff this in under my eyes. All I have going on today is work. Yep, all I have going on today is work. In a few hours. We're going to rock the day out. All right, now I'm gonna take some powder. And this one is just the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. And today I'm actually gonna use my sponge to set under my eyes. And I'm not gonna keep it here for too long, just enough to where I don't crease. So I feel like part of the reason why um, I don't really wear foundation or anything else on my face other than under my eyes is because I work on the food truck and it is extremely, extremely hot on there and everything would just melt off like no matter what, what you wear because if it's like almost 100 degrees outside it's typically like 20 to 30 degrees hotter in the food truck and so girl don't matter what setting spray what powder you got on it's coming off usually so yeah that's probably mostly part of the reason why i've developed a routine that works for me all right, now I'm gonna do some blush. But it's almost like the less makeup that you wear there, the more crazy you'll look at the end of the day, or the less crazy you look at the end of the day. The less makeup you wear there, the less crazy you'll look at the end of the day, because girl, I've worn the full face and it's just melted off completely and then I've looked at myself in the mirror and been like scared I wasn't ready for all that so um for a long time I just didn't wear any makeup to work because so I was like "Ooh, I can't deal with all, all of that but now I feel like I've developed a routine so I can finally um just feel more like me with my makeup on at work do you guys like matcha matcha is just one of my favorites so i'm curious if you guys like matcha let me know so today i'm just gonna do 
a little bit of eyeshadow, which I normally do not do, but I'm going to take my Too Faced Teddy Bear eyeshadow palette, and I'm just going to use probably maybe this one or this one in my crease, and I'm not going to do anything crazy, but I am going to use my little, see, you see my little Hello Kitty makeup brushes. And I'm just going to do like the lightest wash of color in the crease. It's kind of actually all over. In the crease and the lid. I'm just going to run whatever else is left on the brush a little bit under my eyes. have those days where your hair is just not cooperating like my bangs have just not been cooperating today especially on this side but luckily I'm going to work and I have to wear a hat so they're just gonna be flipped up and pushed back into my hat so I won't have to deal with that before I do my lips and my eyes I'm gonna use some setting spray and I'm gonna use the Hello Kitty use the crumb shop x hello kitty celebrate and just look how cute she is on there she's adorable so let's go ahead and do this let's back up some setting spray is done before i do anything else Sanitizer. Setting spray is dry now. I'm going to go in with a lip liner. I'm trying to figure out which one I should use. I got new beige. I sharpened it. Yeah. Look how sharp new beige is. I sharpened new beige. I have to sharpen natural. Gorgeous. I think I'm probably going to use new beige. And I'm just going to line my lips. And I just have like naturally really pale lips. Like the inside is more pink and then the outside of my lips is like really pale. So I love giving definition to them. Now we're gonna go in with Rare Beauty Hope. And tell me why when I was younger, I literally thought the lipstick didn't even look good on me. But that's because I'm pretty sure I just didn't know how to apply it right. I need to get some more Rare Beauty lip oil. So that's the lips. Now we're gonna move on to the eyes. Well, actually, really quick, we're gonna take this, some of this ColourPop freckle pen. And this is so cute. I don't know if this has a shade. Oh, this is in soft brown. Probably the lightest one, I'm assuming. I've had this thing for years, and it just looks like this. And then you can tap it in, or I don't know, you could probably put it on first and put like a, a light coverage foundation or concealer on top instead of uh, patting it out. But I think it's the cutest little thing. And I usually just do a little few like that. I'm gonna take some of this NYX Rechargeable Eyeliner, and this is in white. And I'm gonna line my waterline. I feel like that just opens them right on up. Oh yeah, that definitely opens them right on up. I'm gonna go ahead and do this probably really lightly because I do use the Grande Lash and the last time I did my um, 
like full coats of mascara my eyelashes were basically in my bangs and touching my eyebrows and stuff so i'm probably just gonna do a super light coat of this and call it a day i'm wearing these dangly ones but i'm so afraid that i'm gonna that i'm gonna lose them so i'm probably gonna switch these out so i'm gonna switch them out for these ones today i'm gonna do sweet like candy but i think i need to show you guys a small little haul real quick we went to marshall's and home goods um to do that store walk through and i did pick up a few things there i think i showed it in a short but i'm gonna show you guys too so we found this and we also found another one of these and then we picked up these two little gift bags so cute so this one says happy birthday she's so cute she's in her little pink and red outfit the sides are red and then this one is just a pink one with like an outline of her head and her bow and i already unboxed this because i had to wear it in that um skincare with my girlfriend video that me and meg did i was too excited i could not wait so i picked up this crumb shop x hello kitty headband and this is like their little fall one with the orange bow. And I just love that she's on the back. And then the last thing we picked up was this so super cute Hello Kitty mug. And it's so cute. It has the fall leaves and she's in like a little fall colored outfit. And she has just all of these super cute little leaves and the super cute fall drain that looks delicious like i want it and on the back it says pumpkin spice and everything nice i just i'm obsessed and that was everything that was in my little small haul but thank you guys so much for watching and for getting ready with me so i'm probably just gonna edit this video and get ready until i go to work i hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day Give this video a thumbs up if you guys like it and like content like this and subscribe to my channel and hit the post notification bell that way you'll be notified when I upload a next video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye!